Today's video is gonna be a clean with me video. It's gonna be a clean with me my entire apartment. By my apartment, I mean my husband's apartment. I don't live here. I'll take you to the bathroom, the kitchen, dining room, and the bedroom. It's a small apartment, so really is actually a breeze to clean this place. Let's get into it because I really need to sit down. Starting with the bathroom, I'm gonna just do the shower and wipe down the sink. I already did a clean with me bathroom video when I was last here, so I'll leave that in the description box or you can catch it in a card that would pop up here. I think the only thing that I changed from that video is how I clean the shower. I have the solution for cleaning the shower in here. It's a mix of vinegar, white vinegar, and dishwashing liquid. And all you have to do is spray, well, all you have to do is just spray the bottom of your shower, or pretty much anywhere, and leave it there for 10 minutes so that the solution works on the grime. Make sure that you have more liquid than soap because obviously this is not working well. And yes, it does smell like ass. Now in the kitchen, I have another cleaning solution which I did show in that video because this is the cleaning solution that I use at home to clean everything. This is vodka, water, and an essential oil of your choice. I'm just gonna spray the stove, spray the counter, here is a hack for you. If you have annoying sink handles that like every single time you use them, all the water gets all over your counter, you can just put two sponges here. I got this idea from my mom. Like she did that at home. I didn't even ask her. I just saw that. It was pretty ingenious. We actually cleaned up about three days ago. No, two days ago. I clean all the time so that I don't have to wait until the end of the week and clean like crazy. So doing little cleaning things here and there like every single day really helps in the long run. I use a micro fiber cloth for cleaning everything. We have a whole bunch of them, which I can show you actually, right here. Some of these are kitchen towels, like for drying produce or drying dishes, and these are hand towels, but we have a whole stack of microfiber towels. To put all of these away, this is an oven mat that we got from Amazon. It is so super stained. I have no idea what else to do with that. I'm gonna empty the dish rack so I can actually wash the dish rack. So I'm gonna put all the utensils in. The water here is so hard that you can see all of that. And it's so disgusting and soapy. So I'm gonna go wash that. And instead of sponges, we opted to use these plastic bristle ones. Yeah, these are still plastic, but at least they don't degrade as fast as sponges. Then I'm gonna put back the dishes. These are the ones that we use all the time. I just like to leave them out since again, there are no cabinets. I put these plastic things underneath the dish rack because I hate it when this wood gets really wet because it's just gross. And now that it's wet, I hate everything. We hardly use the oven, so I'm not even gonna have to go in there. The fridge on the other hand is like super dirty. So I'm gonna use the same cloth and solution and just wipe it. We have a packed refrigerator this time. So on another day when we eat all this stuff, I'll have an easier time cleaning it. And that's as much as that's gonna get. For the kitchen and the dining room, I'm gonna vacuum a little bit before I mop. Same solution and a mop. like super important that we mop every single day here because obviously the door is right there and you just walk in with your shoes. And especially for me when I keep forgetting things in the bedroom, I have to walk across the kitchen and step all over the place. We have this little cabinet thing that we got from his mom that his brother didn't want anymore. It kinda acts as our little like walk in the door, drop off your keys and some other stuff. And it's really important to cover your appliances with something. You just don't want all the dust to get on them, especially the toaster. Over here, though, there's a lot of stuff on this table, but can't really do too much about it. There's no room in this part. So I'm just gonna wipe whatever I can. Now moving into the bedroom. We did like three laundry loads today, and this is all the clothes that dried. So now I'm just gonna fold all of them. Okay, I finished folding all of the clothes, so I'm gonna put all of this in the wardrobe. I 
And now I have to empty out my purse that I was using all day today. Well, not like empty everything out of it, but just like my makeup products, my phone, random tissues. Actually, this one's unused, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. I have a Q-tip in here, a toothpick, oil blockages. I'm gonna put my lip product away, concealer, eyebrow pencil, and eye pencil, and the Q-tip if I can use that again. I'm actually gonna put my sunglasses back in here because I'm sure I'll be carrying this bag again next time. Lip balm back in here too. Then I'm just gonna hang up my bag back up here on the end of the clothing rack because there's no room anywhere. I actually have to put my cardigan back in my shack pack. And those are where my shack packs are. So I can throw everything back here. It's actually a complete mess this time because I have so much more clothes than I had in the winter. Put the jeans over here. It's the only place that has some room. Now I'm gonna wipe over here. This is our little bed side table. Gonna give his desk a little bit of a wipe down. Wiping his computer down here. Oh. Gonna wipe the mirror. You can actually use the same spray solution on the mirror. I use the same vinegar dishwashing solution for the kitchen sink that I use for the bathroom. And just like the shower, I'm gonna leave it here for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm just going to rinse it a little bit just to get the suds going. And then I'm gonna use the brush to brush the grime off the shower. The grime is mostly on the sides here. So I wanna make sure that I get all of that. And you can feel the resistance. So I have to pay close attention to those parts and then scrub the drain. Now I'm gonna turn on the hot water and just rinse everything away. See how clean it looks now? The solution is amazing, but it smells like ass. And of course, you can totally do the same thing for your shower mats. Just use the same exact solution, leave it on for about five minutes, and then just brush it away. And now the finishing touch is to vacuum the disgusting carpet in the bedroom. Subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to know how I clean up my room at home, I will leave that video in the description box or you can catch it in my end screen.